All right, hello everybody. So my name is Greg Foltz. I'm an oceanographer at NOAA's Atlantic Oceanographic and Meteorological Laboratory in Miami, Florida. So behind us is a sail drone, and you can think of a sail drone kind of like a small sailboat, except a sail drone uh, doesn't have any people on it. And that's a big advantage because we send sail drones into hurricanes and we collect really valuable data from the ocean and atmosphere. And this can help us understand how hurricanes work and help us ultimately, hopefully predict hurricane intensification better. Uh, it's about uh, 20 feet long and it's about uh, 10 or 12 feet high. Uh, floats on the surface of the ocean. It's deployed from, it can be deployed from pretty much any harbor using a small crane that puts it in the ocean and then it's towed out uh, into the open ocean. And from there, uh, we direct it through satellite communications to our computers, tell it where to go. Um, ideally, directing it into the path of a hurricane, we can collect continuously data throughout the strongest part of a hurricane in the ocean and the atmosphere. Um, so that's very important to understand the cycling of energy and momentum between the ocean and the hurricane. For example, the surface temperature of the ocean has a big impact on how intense hurricanes can get. So with this data, we can monitor, we can look at the temperature and how it's responding to the hurricane's winds. And that really drives uh, kind of the potential for the hurricane uh, to intensify. Um, and this data is extremely valuable. It's really hard to get continuous data like this from the ocean and atmosphere in the strongest part of a major hurricane. Uh, a big advantage of the sail drone, why we like to use it, is because we can direct it days ahead of time into the path of a hurricane. You can't do that with something like a buoy, a moored buoy that sits at the same place in the ocean. So it gives us a lot of data coming in in real time. We use the data to help understand hurricanes, how it exchanges heat and momentum with the ocean. Uh, and that can go into the models to improve the models to make better forecasts. So let's go look at the sail drone, see what's on it. So down here on the keel, the sail drone measures temperature and salinity uh, in, the, in the near surface ocean. It also measures oxygen and chlorophyll concentration. So from the oxygen and chlorophyll, we can look at things like uh, biogeochemical cycling, the carbon cycle, um, biological productivity in the ocean and how hurricanes might affect that. So that's, that's down in the ocean. Up on the sail are the atmospheric sensors that measure uh, air temperature, relative humidity, uh, surface air pressure, the amount of sunlight coming in to the surface of the ocean. On the top of the wing is a, a sensor that measures uh, very accurately the wind speed and direction, which is obviously uh, very important inside a hurricane. We need to know that. And very high frequency, so 20 measurements per second of the wind. And from that, we can look at the turbulent structure of the winds in a hurricane and look at things like momentum and uh, heat exchange with the ocean. And we collect all this data. It all comes in and is uh, sent via satellite communications to uh, forecast centers around the world. And that data goes into their models and can be used to improve forecasts of hurricane intensity. We also use the data to do research, to look at how hurricanes intensify, how they interact with the ocean, um, and that's extremely valuable. So two different components, the research and the uh, forecast operational prediction aspects is what we're looking to do.